and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up and go over the button functions of the ICXC0416 temperature and humidity weather station. To get set up, open the battery compartment on the rear of the outdoor sensor, insert two AA batteries and replace the battery cover. Plug the indoor console into a power source and install the backup batteries. With the LCD switched on, all the indoor measured parameters will appear on the screen. Wait as the outdoor sensor and indoor console automatically search, connect and start transmitting data. When connected, we can see the outdoor temperature and humidity information, outdoor sensor number, this aligns with the sensor switch in the back of the outdoor sensor. There's the forecasting information, barometric pressure, moon phase and weather index information, time, date, indoor humidity with trend arrow and the comfort indicator, and outdoor temperature with the trend arrow. With the indoor console and outdoor sensor now connected, we'll run through the button functions and how to use them to set up your station. Starting with the buttons on the top of the unit, the first is the time set button. Press and hold this key for two seconds to enter into setting mode. When in time setting mode, 12 or 24 hour will blink on the screen. Press the up and down selection arrows to adjust the selection, then press time set again to save and move on to the next setup option. You can adjust the following options for time in the same way. You can select the hour, minute, second, or month day format, current month, day, time offset, as well as the language. When you have finished running through your time options, press time set one last time, or press no keys for 60 seconds to save and return to the home screen. The next button is alarm. On the home screen, pressing and releasing the alarm button will show the alarm time and turn on or off the alarm. Press and hold the alarm key to enter into alarm settings. Use the up and down selection keys on the top to adjust the alarm parameters and press the alarm button to move on to the next setting. You can adjust the alarm hour and minute. Once selected, press alarm again to exit alarm settings. Next is alert. Press and hold alert for two seconds to enter temperature alert settings mode. As with previous settings, use the up and down selection arrows to adjust parameters and press alert a second time to move on to the next adjustment item. The first item flashing is in. Press the up and down selection arrows to choose between alerts for indoors or outdoors. Press alert again to move through the parameters. For all the parameters, press the up and down arrows to change the alert figure. Then with the alert open, pressing alarm will turn the alert on. This is with an icon on the screen or off, there'll be no icon. You can turn on or off and set high and low level alerts for the indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity. The next function is channel and up selection. Pressing and releasing this button allows you to toggle through channels 1 to 8 for the outdoor sensors. Pressing and holding this key will begin the auto cycle mode through channels 1 to 8. This is an excellent option if you are setting up multiple sensors. The next is MEM, which is memory, and the down selection key. Pressing and releasing the MEM key will scroll through the unit's minimum and maximum readings for all recorded parameters, showing the current channel's maximum and then the minimum temperature, current channel's maximum humidity, then minimum humidity, Indoor maximum and minimum temperature. Indoor maximum and minimum humidity. Maximum barometric pressure rating. And minimum pressure rating. To erase the minimum and maximum records, press and hold the memory key when viewing the minimum maximum results.
The last key on the top is index. Press and release this key to toggle between the current dew point and heat index. On the back there are four more buttons. There's history. The unit records the past 24 hours of weather data automatically, including indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity, barometric pressure, dew point and heat index records. Press the history key to check the past records. Each button press moves back an hour and displays the history data for that time. Note there's no information available for this example because we've only just set the unit up. The next is sensor. Press this to enter into sensor receiving mode, i.e. if you're setting up additional or replacement sensors. The next button is barrow. This is for barometric pressure settings. Pressing and releasing the button changes the readout between millimetres of mercury or hectopascals. Pressing and holding the barrow key allows you to change between the display of absolute and relative pressure readout. When relative pressure readout is selected, you can adjust the relative pressure value by using the up and down selector keys. The last button on the back is the temperature unit readout selection. Choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Next is a screen brightness selector. Choose between high, which is bright, low, which is dim or automatic. And last of all, there's a reset key. And that's how to set up and navigate the IC XC0416 Temperature and Humidity Weather Station. For more information on this station, speak with an Instrument Choice Scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or see the additional contact information in the video description. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.